the 2014 Fine Awards for Teamwork Excellence in Healthcare. Gold winner. St. Clair Hospital. Surgical Site Infection Prevention. We found that there was uh, a need for some standardization with respect to our perioperative processes, both preoperatively, intraoperatively, and then even uh, postoperatively as well. Based on our own research, the recommendations of an outside consultant, and working with our own surgeons and clinical staff, we were then able to come to what we felt confident as a good package for uh, standardizing our care. What we call our pre-op optimization process that begins in the physician office and carries all the way through the day of surgery is helping to reduce the risk for infection. But there's a couple of things. Once the patient and the surgeon have decided that surgery is the best route, then the physician can discuss some of the ways to uh, help minimize that risk of, of infection. Here at St. Clair, we've uh, developed a program that uh, maintains a very, very low risk of surgical site infection, but it requires your cooperation. There are, there are a number of steps that you need to do before your operation to make it as safe as possible. Uh, the big thing, of course, is uh, using the antibiotic wipes or antiseptic wipes that we're going to give you both the night before and the day of surgery. Going around the surgical site and going in outside circles away from it. It begins with them getting screened uh, to make sure that their lab values <clears throat> are where we need them to be. Um, they have optimized their nutrition. They have no um, infection present. Their urine culture is negative and they have no MRSA in their system. It's all compiled in each patient's uh, chart and then on the day of the surgery, we collect it on what we call our green sheets. That's reviewed with the patient uh, in holding before they go in for the surgery, and then it's also presented to the surgeon. The patient meets all criteria to proceed with surgery. So each one of those green sheets or physician pre-op uh, acknowledgement forms is uh, compiled in a database. That data is tracked. If there are areas that need to be addressed, we can certainly track and trend uh, by each of those various components and overall compliance as well. So we also took a look at standardizing our intraoperative procedures, how to prep, how to drape, how to position the patient, who positions the patient, how to do the hair removal, where to do the hair removal. All of those now have specific steps to them. So another way to reduce surgical site infection is to make sure that the traffic in and out of the OR is really at a minimum. And whenever the room is set up, and also during surgery, we deploy the red straps. And this is a nice visual for people to know they cannot go in this room. So even though we have a very competent and highly trained staff in our OR. So here's a sample of that pledge. They have to review this and sign this each year as a condition for employment at St. Clair Hospital. It never hurts to revisit and get back to the very basics of what they were trained from the start. We found that within our colorectal surgical patient population, there was also a potential for some improvement there, and we felt that some of these practices could easily transfer over to that patient population. Our infection rate for the total hip replacement was at 3.1 uh, per 100 cases. But now, in fiscal 14, it is at 0.4 per 100 cases. In the knee replacement patient population, it was um, 1.5, it's now at 0.7. And I think that we've, uh, we've discovered the right recipe with what we've come up with.